All right, folks, I am going to get the recording started. Give me just a quick second here. All right, folks, it sounds like we, it looks like maybe you started it, Dr. Jeff, but uh, we have got the recording started. I want to welcome each and every one of you to our Wednesday night Ask Dr. Doc, excuse me, Ask Dr. Jeff call. We come together each and every Wednesday night and get an app opportunity to hear from one of our leading uh, medical doctors, somebody we all greatly respect. Um, Dr. Jeff is a phenomenal individual. He's got quite the background. I want to just share a little bit about him before we get started tonight. Uh, Dr. Jeff is both an MD and an MS and is a very conscientious concierge medical doctor. He's a researcher and entrepreneur. He's got over 19 years of experience in various scientific disciplines and over seven years of extensive medical training. He's very knowledgeable in scientific methods of investigation with specific interest in human anatomy, physiology, molecular biology, nutrition, lifestyle modification, as well as integrated functional medicine. His areas of expertise include family, public community, and environmental medicine, as well as healthcare technology, administration, and infrastructure development. In addition to his love for the uh, core sciences, he has a genuine empathy for the sick. You know, Dr. Hupper sought a career in medicine because the urban areas of Houston, Texas, where he grew up, lacked good health care providers that shared his background and ethnicity. So with that, Dr. Jeff, we are super excited for, I believe this is episode three, to bring you to the line, my friend, and start this week's Ask Dr. Jeff call. Take it away, my friend. Thank you so much, Bill, for that warm introduction. I'm, I'm listening to you introduce me, and I'm like, who is this person you're talking about? Uh, it's such an <laughs> honor, guys, for you all to join. Um, excited to have the third episode now of Ask Dr. Jeff. Um, today, we're going to review an awesome article, and we're going to answer all of your questions and make um, the evening educational. That's, to me, the biggest uh, component of this call, is to be able to share a lot of cool information, get you guys knowledgeable about all of the, the background about LifeWave and really to understand a, a, a higher level discussion about application of the patches and specific protocols to help with certain issues that you may be struggling with or you may have clients or customers who are struggling with uh, you know, some particular ailments and we can begin to identify and address those things on a consistent basis here on our Wednesday night Ask Dr. Jeff call, okay? So uh, really quickly, guys, let's go through a brief synopsis of LifeWave technology and the company. Um, it's now 16 years old. It was established in 2004. Uh, Mr. David Schmidt is the founder, CEO, and inventor of LifeWave technology. Uh, there's a fusion of several different core sciences that come together to help produce our patch technology. Um, we're going to speak specifically about the X39 stem cell patch. I know for most individuals who are joining the call, um, you are interested, maybe have uh, been motivated by someone that's close to you to uh, find out more information about LifeWave, or perhaps you stumbled upon us on accident, um, and now you are just excited and motivated about the technology as everyone else in the LifeWave family, okay? Um, so here, guys, is where the magic happens. This is a quarter size patch. You can wear it in several different places. We'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, the internal environment of that uh, patch is a fabric mesh. All right. On top of that fabric mesh is a liquid nanocrystal technology. All right. And so these liquid nanocrystals are designed to reflect certain frequencies of near infrared light, all right? So we produce um, thermogenic heat, thermogenic energy 24-7, 365. And this patch is capable of reflecting certain proprietary frequencies of light back into the skin to generate certain effects. That is the science of photobiomodulation. 
uh, photo meaning light, bio is a prefix for biology or our, uh, the way our body works. Modulation is change or adjusting um, the way something happens, okay? So uh, the simplistic way to understand this is that this patch uses light therapy uh, to change our biochemistry and our physiology, all right? And it does it in an amazing way. Uh, this particular X39 patch, it raises a molecule called GHK copper peptide. This molecule, we'll find out a little bit more when we do the, the article review in just a few moments, but it was discovered by Dr. Lauren Picard in 1973. He's published a plethora of different articles that really examine how GHK copper peptide works on a genetic level to influence 4,192 different genes, guys. It's amazing. It's simply futuristic technology that we have at our disposal. And so this patch can be placed anywhere. I love to wear it in a bunch of different locations. As we continue to have discussion today, you'll find out that there's a plethora of different acupuncture locations uh, to place these patches. And um, the reality is, is that traditional Chinese medicine teaches us that the flow of qi uh, moves through our body in certain meridians uh, on a daily basis. And we can learn quite a bit from understanding how this flow of energy moves through our body and what happens when we place these patches in certain areas and influence the energetics as well as uh, specifically stimulating those particular uh, organ systems or organs that we want to have an impact on, okay? Um, so this quarter size patch is worn for approximately 12 hours. Um, and specifically, we want to uh, understand the, the dosage or, or lack thereof dosage um, of wearing the technology because we don't want our bodies to become accustomed to the frequency, all right? So every time we put on a patch, we want our body to immediately uh, respond to the frequency and begin to produce in the instance of X39GHK copper peptide, all right? So um, we'll get into more detail. I'm sure you'll find out more, you know, cool sort of understanding of how the, te the patch technology works as we talk about the, the questions and answer period uh, and I think that's really where the magic happens is when you understand, okay, um, here's how we apply the patches, here's what these patches specifically do, and here's what you should expect when you start wearing the patches, all right? Um, so LifeWave, as I said, has been around for about 16 years, uh, headquartered in Ireland, which unbeknownst to me, I found out that Ireland is one of the most foremost authority on stem cell therapy and stem cell treatment. Um, and so that's why the company decided to partner with the Irish government to begin to really institute a new type of stem cell concept and stem cell learning. Traditionally, guys, uh, stem cell therapy is associated with injections or IVs. So you take an embryonic tissue from umbilical cord blood or from a placenta or what have you, and you can uh, extract these embryonic stem cells and have them cryogenically frozen to be able to inject them into uh, joints or areas that need to be improved. Um, sometimes you can get stem cells from your bone marrow or from brown fat. Um, so those are the three main ones that you will come in contact with in a traditional sort of approach to stem cell therapy. Um, this is revolutionary guys, totally uh, off the beaten path, completely different approach. Um, these patches through GHK copper peptide are capable of stimulating your own stem cell production, okay? So these GHK copper peptide not only influences the genetics that we have and makes our body um, produce a state of healing, kind of like a fountain of youth, so to speak, but it also converts adult skin cells into what we call pluripotent stem cells. Pluripotent stem cells are our most primitive type of cell. They're capable of differentiating or changing into all of these different types of embryonic tissue, ectodermal, mesodermal, and endodermal, 
So I won't go into too much detail in the essence of time, but basically these pluripotent stem cells are capable of reproducing any type of damage, worn out, going on and are going to replace those damage harm energy um, your bowel movements are going to improve, your uh, physical appearance is going to improve, specifically the skin. Um, you're going to have all sorts of improvement in your physical capabilities, workouts, or athletic performance. Uh, the list just goes on and on and on. And guys, it's very specific to uh, you as an individual. Um, so don't be jealous of somebody else's experience be excited and motivated for your own personal experience and um you know, you know uh, keep track of that. what we normally like to suggest is that before you start wearing the patches you make a notation of all of the various different things that may or may not be bothering you and then as as you continue to enjoy and appreciate the the technology um begin to, to notate what happens here, here, and here, or things that you notice to change. Um, you know, like I said, the, the, uh, the experience is unparalleled. I've never been in, in a organization or a business that promotes and produces a type of product that does these, these sorts of things and has this much impact on uh, who you are as a person and what's going on with your physiology, okay? Um, so this patch changes lives, both from a health perspective and a wealth perspective. Um, I'm, I'm sure that most of you are also a part of the network marketing business that promotes the patches. Um, so I think that a lot of the commentary and the, the discussion that we have during this call would be valuable for you to be able to share with other individuals and kind of get those key phrases and those things that really make a difference in the way that somebody appreciates the technology. And so um, please feel free uh, to begin to formulate your questions, uh, raise your hand or um, you know, otherwise make yourself known so that we can uh, get the questions that you may have answered in a timely fashion, okay? So we're, we're really trying to be succinct and to the point with our Ask Dr. Jeff call. Um, we wanna keep it to about 30 to 35 minutes so that we don't monopolize your time and your day. So in the essence of time, I'm going to um, pass the mic back to bill so that we can begin to address some questions but i'm excited as always to be here guys and to share my understanding of this unique and powerful technology with you and um uh looking forward to the questions you know i understand that there's going to be some aspect of health related questions but if we can be very careful with how we ask those questions not to uh, make false claims about the technology healing, treating, or curing any particular medical disease. It does not do that. Instead, what it does is it brings the body into what we call homeostatic balance. And that homeostatic balance allows the body to heal itself, right? Super cool, uh, super futuristic way of thinking, um, you know, my traditional allopathic medical training teaches us that, hey, you have a problem, we provide a solution, and then you get better. Um, very seldom do we talk about preventative health strategies where we say, let's get our way out in front of this and prevent uh, diseases from happening in the first place. All right, Phil. Uh, so back to you, Bill. Uh, looking forward to all the cool questions and everything to discuss this evening. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Jeff. And folks, as Dr. Jeff said, if you just raise your hand, we'll take your questions in order. And I'm going to go to the top of that list to get this started here with Ask Dr. Jeff. I do want to cover a couple quick things a few of you have asked in the chat about the recording. Dr. Jeff does record these and uploads these usually a day to two afterwards, and you can get a copy of this. Um, Dr. Jeff also has a YouTube channel. Uh, so I'll leave that up to Doc if he wants to share that. But we do get the recordings out to you. So if you miss it or you want somebody to see the information or you just would like to review the information again. I know that for me is a valuable thing. So um, we're going to jump into questions. Dr. Jeff, Tim Peak, uh, you're the first on the list here. So go ahead and unmute yourself and ask Dr. Jeff. Hi, thanks uh, for having me on. And uh, last week I asked about blockages in the nasal passages growth. Uh, you said uh, that maybe you'd be able to look into that. And uh, I was going to ask about the recording. So thank you for that. Yes, sir. So I, I think with the patches, it's going to be a little bit difficult because really the most awesome aspect of the, the nasal cavity or the, the best acupuncture points for the nasal cavity are going to be right here on top of your, your top lip and uh, those two areas right here. So I think focusing on these two acupunctures here, the third eye would be the most ideal situation. Did you have a chance to uh, patch those areas last week? You muted Tim if you're talking. Yes, we did try that. There you go. Okay, did that's you it. Notice any improvement or any changes or no? Yeah, uh, not not yet. It's been uh, like thirty years or something. So. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do some more digging and see if there's anything else that I can come up with. Um, but but as far as the patches, I think the, the these particular locations right here on your cheeks uh, are going to be the most effective way to go about it. Um, I also love black seed oil. Black seed oil is a another powerful immune regulator. Um, so perhaps try that in, in conjunction with the patches. All right, thanks. Awesome, Tim. Thanks so much for your question. We appreciate you. And, and also, I, I do appreciate, Tim, I saw you after you asked your question, you muted yourself. Um, certainly, folks, when we come to the line, we, you know, we try to keep the lines muted so we don't get feedback. We had a little feedback there in the doc, in the call earlier, Doc, and I was having to remute somebody over and over again. And unfortunately, when that happens, it does tend to cut things out a little bit on a Zoom. So we appreciate all of you helping us in staying muted except when you come to call to uh, ask Dr. Jeff. So uh, Doc, we've got uh, Deborah next here in the line. that has got her hand up. Deborah, if you'd go ahead and unmute yourself and welcome and ask Dr. Jeff. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jeff, so much for, for being here and for giving us all the information that you do. Uh, I have a female. She is 72, brain dysfunction. She's had a seizure disorder so all her life. And uh, she has neuropathy in her feet. And she, the, the seizure disorder is being maintained through medication. Um, but now in her later life, she's you know, uh, disabled, but now cogity too. And so it's, it's creating a very hard time in handling her. Is there a protocol that we can use to help with this? Okay, so I, I missed the last maybe 15 seconds of that. So if you can repeat, last thing I heard was that she also has some, some nerve issues in her feet. Right, um, she has, neuro uh, yeah, she has some nerve issues in her feet and, um, and her attitude is contradictory and just uh, totally unwilling to, you know, as older, sometimes older people, they just want you to leave them alone, but she's disabled. We can't just leave her alone. It, it's a tough. So she has a really bad attitude. So, uh, so to address the nerve issue think, in her feet, I would suggest Carnison. Carnison is an excellent nerve redeveloper. Uh, so I would definitely have her wear Carnison daily. And then are you familiar with the HAT protocol, H-A-T? 
Yes. Okay. So any intracranial issue, so anything going on with the brain itself is going to benefit greatly from the HAP protocol. So for those of you who don't know about the HAP protocol, it requires two sets of energy enhancer patches. So um, these, all right, you're gonna wear them on the temples. You're gonna wear the tan patch on the left side and the white patch on the right side, okay? And then you're gonna wear one here and one in the back. So you'll wear a white patch here in the front, a tan patch in the back, and then in the crown of the hat, you'll wear Eon and glutathione. Deborah, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry, I muted myself. So no I, I guess I didn't understand the HAP protocol. It is the, the white at the front. I mean, yeah, the white at the front, tan at the back, mm -hmm. um, Brown on white the on the right, tan on the left, and then, yeah, and then uh, energy enhancer and glutathione up in the crown. Mm -hmm. And I can just put that in a baseball cap and have her to wear it throughout the day. Correct, but it's eon and glutathione. Is that correct? Crown in the crown of the hat in a vertical position. Oh, eon, eon and glutathione. Correct. Vertical position. Yes, ma'am. Did you get that all okay? I'm there, sorry, Bob? I don't understand vertical. So instead of I didn't I didn't understand the, the eon. Instead of them being horizontal in position, they want to be vertical in position. So if you look, okay, at, they they need to go this front to back in the hat, right, versus this way in the hat. Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, try to get her to wear that hat as much as possible. If she's gone, you know, roughly the patches last about twenty four hours. So if she's wearing the hat for about eight hours a day, then she gets three days out of it. Six, six hours a day, four days out of it. So it just kind of depends upon how comfortable she is with the hat and how often she can wear it and just kind of replace those patches once you get to that 24 hour window. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, absolutely. Thank you. Well, Deborah, thank you so much for your question. We certainly appreciate you coming to the line and, and uh, asking Dr. Jeff there the uh, questions to help her. Um, Dr. Jeff, the next person we have in line here is uh, Mary Captain. Mary, you are next. Go ahead and unmute yourself and ask Dr. Jeff. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Jeff. Good evening. I have two questions, if, I, if, if you may. The first question is how, and it's not for me, it's for a person, how would, which patch would you use for an injury to the elbow from a fall. So um, when we're talking about pain, there's three main patches that I would consider. First of all, Eon patch is really excellent for point pain. So if you can point to a location and say it hurts right here, you can put an Eon patch right on there. And that okay. will immediately begin to affect the inflammatory process and how uh, the immune system is responding to the trauma um, and all of that good stuff. Ice wave works really well also, okay? Uh, and ice wave can be a little challenging to figure out the orientation of the tan and the white patch. Yes. However, um, if you, again, if you have a location, let's say my shoulder is really painful, you can put the tan patch right there and then situate the white patch around in a clockwise motion, 12, three, six, nine, and kind of determine whether or not you can find um, some benefit and reduction in pain. Um, and then the X39 is really powerful uh, in just regulating the body in general. 
Um, so, you know, those stem cells can go in there and begin to repair some of the damage or some of the trauma that's associated from the fall. Um, so those would be my suggestions. Personally, for, uh, for ease of patching and ease of understanding, um, just put the X39 on the back of the neck and put the yes. Eon right exactly where the trauma was on the elbow. Okay, and one other question, please, quickly. What would a person use for lowering um, their blood pressure issues? X39, all day X39? long. X39? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And there's actually a really powerful YouTube video that I'd like to make mention of. There was a okay. gentleman who uh, was a distributor prior to the release of the X39. And so he was very interested and intrigued with how the X39 was going to affect his systolic blood pressure. So that's yes. the first number of the two. Um, yes. So if you have a 120 over 80, 120 is your systolic blood pressure, which means that that is the amount of pressure in your arteries while the, the heart is contracting. The mm -hmm. second number is the amount of pressure when the heart is relaxed, okay? Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to see how often his blood pressure was below 135 systolic, or the first number was below 135. From day zero to day 90, uh, he was able to stay consistently under 135 72% of the time the third month. So wow. You know, you can go right at it, X39, and then uh, also Carnison is very powerful uh, cardiovascular um, improvement. So mm -hmm. you add those two together. So anybody who's uh, actively working out, actively um, fit, you know, playing a yes. sport or anything like that, Carnison is going to be great. X39 is going to be great. Okay, so where would be the placement of the Carnison? I like the carnison, if you can see here, right in the middle of your chest, right at the sternum, and you want to put it at the nipple line. So if you can draw a line from one nipple to the other, you want to put the patch right in that line. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, ma'am. Awesome. Mary, thank you so much for your question. We appreciate you coming to the line to ask Dr. Jeff. Uh, Dr. Thank Jeff, you. the next person in line here. Um, for uh, to uh, talk with you I have as a question is Junior Vermont. So Junior, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask Dr. Jeff. If you're out there with us, Junior, go ahead and unmute yourself. I'm actually, I can unmute you if you don't grab that real quick. Let's try this. No, he walked away. There you go. There you go, Junior, go ahead. Yes, um, this is my first time um, on here or seeing this or hearing this. So where can I go to get more information? Because I have various issues with myself, plus my brother that I would like to get involved. So it's like we don't have enough time to go over all of them. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, can you be more specific about what you're looking for or what you're looking to understand? And then maybe I, maybe I can point you in the right direction. Okay, so as far as my brother, he um, ate lead paint when he was a child and it messes up his brain function. He can, he talks, he just don't understand certain things and can't put them together. And just some things just doesn't make sense to him that it's supposed to be normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and he gets really outraged when he can't understand what you're saying and you're not understanding what he's saying. Got it. Got it. Um, so in that instance, I, I think a, a detox, especially a heavy metal detox, would be really advantageous. And that would be... Uh, a, the glutathione patch would be the most effective way to begin to cleanse your heavy metals. Um, so if this is your first time hearing about LifeWave in general, uh, there's a lot to digest. This is, is actually a, a slightly higher level discussion. Um, so Yeah, so I was completely lost when you were talking, but I was trying to keep up. Sure, sure. Um, 
do this put your email in the chat and i'll reach out to you directly and and you know we can have a, a more uh simplistic discussion kind of get you aware of what the patch technology is capable of doing and how it works and um you know get you excited i'm not sure who you know suggested that you join us but if you have some more specific questions that uh he or she can't answer i'd be more than willing to do that for you and uh get you get you to the point to where you feel comfortable and confident that you understand what's going on yeah i would appreciate that no problem sir just just put your chat put your email in the chat and i'll reach out to you roger that awesome well thank you junior for coming to line i'm excited for you to be able to get uh, some of the information some wonderful Appreciate information it. coming in. i know doc will take care of you as well and as he said who whoever invited you to the call make sure that you chat with them because i'm sure they can get some great information in your hands as well um, Doc, the next person okay. that we have up here is uh, Lee and Tracy uh, Hackworth. Uh, you are both, uh, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, or it's one, go ahead and ask Dr. Jeff. Yes, good uh, good evening, Dr. Jeff. Uh, my name is Lee Hackworth uh, from San Antonio, Texas. Um, is there any help in COPD and yeah. also in headaches? Okay. Uh, actually there's, I'll start with the headaches. There's all sorts of, of, uh, testimonials that I've been a part of and, and understanding how the, the technology helps with, with migraines or with, uh, you know, tension headaches or these sorts of things. So one, there's several ways you can go about it. Do you already have patches or? Well, not really. No, not yet. I have a couple and, uh, that was shared to me and so okay. now yeah okay but i will after tonight <laughs> okay okay great well so um one thing is the ice wave patches that is the traditional pain patch uh that is produced by the company and they're uh they have a polarity so one is a positive charge one is a negative charge there's there's two types of, of patches that have that uh duality okay so the ice wave and the energy patches are the ones that i would suggest using and right here in your on your temples you know if it's a if it's a, a um a headache where you can massage these temples and you begin to notice that some some relief is is provided then you can put the the, the tan patch on the left side of your temple and the white patch on the right side of the temple that will in many instances knock a headache out all right um i love the eon patch the eon patch is another really powerful technology and you can put it right here in your third eye or you can put the x39 right there so both of those will be very valuable in in addressing a headache okay unless there's a specific uh what i want to say a, a specific aspect of the headache that you know like if you say well hey when i do this i get headaches or when i do that i get headaches uh then we can get a little bit more specific but but those three sort of protocols should be beneficial for your headaches in general all right now when it comes to breathing problems um there are some really powerful acupuncture locations and i kind of point them so there's going to be one right here on either side and you can you can actually google that it's called lung one lung one acupuncture point and so you want to patch there you can patch uh you can patch energy patches you can uh patch ice wave patches you can put the x39 there uh you can put glutathione there and kind of detox the lungs but but basically when you find an acupuncture location that's that's uh, connected to the area of the body that's creating the problem, then you can just put the patch there and the patch, whatever the patch does, it will do it for that particular organ system. So would you put those on both sides at the same time or either side? You can do either side. You can do the right side is normally the, the um, the more appropriate side to do it this is our positive side on the right side so if you're going to do glutathione or carnison or eon 
you can put on the right side. You can put X39 on either side. You can actually put X39 on both sides if you wanted to be aggressive. Um, and if the ice wave and the energy patches, they have a tan and a white. All right. So here, let me show you. All right. So this is what the tan one looks like. And this is what the white one looks like. All right. So you could simply place them on either side like that or place them on either side like that or place them on either side like that. So as long as the left is on the left side and the white is on the right side, you're good to go. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. And I'm in San Antonio all the time, guys. I, I, I'm based in Dallas, so we, we have to hook up sometime. Absolutely. Seminar. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, Lee and Tracy, thank you so much for your question tonight. Folks, that's going to bring us to the end of this week's call. As Doc said, we always like to keep this to a uh, strict 30, 35 minutes, start right on time, finish on time to respect everybody's time. If you didn't get your question answered this week, simply on this call, share to the line for Ask Dr. Jeff, 6 p.m. Pacific. 9 p.m. Eastern, and it just simply use the, the AskDrJeff.org link. will take you straight to Zoom. Uh, Doc, as always, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for each and every one of you coming to the line tonight to listen and learn. Thank you for those of you that asked questions and got some great information um, from Doc. Uh, Doc, you're just a, a valuable, valuable individual that's really making a difference in a lot of people's lives, and you know, words can't express how much gratitude we all have for you. So Thank you so much, everybody, for tonight's call. Have a fantastic rest of your week, or excuse me, have a fantastic rest of your week. And with that, we're going to say good night and God, everybody. See you next week, guys. Thanks.